Even on a quiet Monday morning, this red Goliath can still draw some eyeballs. It's become part of the part of the beach. I think it's it hitting <laughs> the, in the right spot. It's not interfering with the the peopley part of the beach. And just about everyone has their own idea of what to do with it. I came down here, so I kind of wanted to see it, and I thought, no, what are they going to do? Are they going to try to remove it, or will some entrepreneur want to? take that top part off, replace it with glass, level the floor and make a restaurant. It's been nearly three months since this barge washed up on this Vancouver beach during a catastrophic wind and rain event. During that time, it's garnered international fame and plenty of photo ops. But patience for some residents is starting to wear thin. Seems that Vancouverites have adopted it, but I don't think most Vancouverites want to end up paying for it. It's not that pretty. It's a novelty. I think the novelty's probably worn off. Calls that might soon be answered. The owner of this barge, Century Marine Towing, has confirmed plans are underway to remove it. Permit applications are awaiting approval, including ones from the city and the park board. It won't be as simple as just towing it away. Instead, crews will have to break it apart piece by piece. Those will then be hauled away by another barge. The company says the goal is to start work within a month, but the job could take up to 60 days. Century Marine Towing says the environmental impact will be minimal. With the end on the horizon, it will be a bittersweet goodbye for some. I'm gonna miss our barge. Are you gonna miss it? I think so. It's whether you think it's an eyesore or a local mascot, the clock is winding down on this chunk of metal's 15 minutes of fame. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.